Today I want to talk to you about something that you hear all over the place called a healing current. Is there something in our body that is a flow of electrons or current that will make the body heal? Well, generally speaking, you can talk to many manufacturers of healing instruments and they apparently, many of them, seem to know what it is. Uh, I don't think we know what it is. Uh, however, what we do know is that the way the body communicates on a cellular atomic level is through the exchange of electrons and it is a constant changing thing. This electrical signal helps the brain determine what to do in order to heal. Be it after surgery, be it a hip pointer, be it a sprained ankle, be it a broken bone. And the brain coordinates the events to heal. Well, the people that would claim they have such and such a current, they have figured it out. Let me just show you a basic of how our body works and how electricity works. We usually can look at what an electrical modality will do. And let's just say we look at a machine that comes on and it looks like that. The machine comes on, it stays on, I'm just going to do it for 300, they call it millionths of a second, but it's microseconds. And then the machine turns off and then it rests and then it comes back on again and it does this and it does this so many times per second. Now, when you see a picture of this by anyone showing what their unit does, what you're really seeing is what that unit does with a controlled amount of resistance. Now, as an example, let me show you. They measure these things usually against 500 ohms of resistance. That is the standard within the industry. Reality is an electrode, a good electrode may have 1500 ohms of resistance three times as much. What happens? Now this is, remember, this is against not even getting in the body. This picture is supposed to tell you what happens within the body. Well, here's what happens within the body. That may be showing you what goes on outside the body, but immediately inside the body, this is what the current looks like. What an actual wave. It decays. It's already falling apart because the ohmic resistance has increased. And that's very minor. You can easily hit 20,000. Easy. But what you're seeing outside the body is not what's going on inside the body. Alright, well that brings up the thing. Well, we don't know exactly what's going on, so what is the healing current? What we know is negative charges and those are electrons facilitate healing. Now, what is the waveform. Is it that that works? Or is it off and on a bunch of times that works? Or is it a below the baseline and then an up double pipe? What does that do? You know, truthfully, I'm not so sure or that's that important. Yes, it is. there's importance. But it's really about the body deciding what aspect of any of this, and basically is positive, negative, what it can use and throwing off what it doesn't use. Now, here's the analogy I use with nutrition on that. It's the same thing. We get hungry. We want to eat. 
We need nutritional food. We need minerals. We need vitamins, quote unquote antioxidants, and antioxidants is taken in foods that are work through our digestive system. We need those things. So we go out here and we buy a hamburger, and I'm not hitting on the fast food industry, we buy a hamburger. And inside that hamburger is the nutrient matter that we need in order for our cells to create energy and heal. But there's a lot of stuff in there we don't need. So what does our body do with it? It gets rid of it. It moves it on. We urinate, we go to the bathroom, we pass it out, we sweat, we do lots of things because we don't need it. The body can figure that out. Well, I think the same thing happens with electrical currents. The body can select what it needs. If it's not there to start off with, you can't get it. But if you supplement with an electron, with electrons there, the body can get what it needs and use it as it needs. Well, this used to confuse me tremendously on how do you find out what all you need to do with these waveforms. And a friend of mine, the man that actually owns the company, Sadi Andrew Yohari, who helped us develop the Infrex units, explained it to me one day. He says, Bob, you go to the symphony and there's all these people sitting in the symphony and each one of them plays a different instrument. One's a violin or they might have a tuba and they might have drums, they have different types of sounds. Now every one of these things that these people are playing has a different frequency. Let's say the tuba, boom, 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 got a frequency of three. It's got a violin, it's got a frequency of 100, and the drums have a frequency of 30. If we're sitting here in this audience, and we've paid money to come hear this symphony perform. If we give, tell the violinist to stand up and play and we listen to him for 30 minutes, we probably say, wait a minute, I expected a little more than that. We then have the tuba stand up and go for 30 minutes. We probably want our money back. So any individual frequency with all the different types of amplification that goes on of any one of these instruments is not sufficient in and of itself to entertain the customer. When we take these frequencies of every one and out walks the conductor and blends these frequencies, we are delighted our auditory response is something that is pleasant, pleasant and enjoyable. The combination is what is good. I think when you look at the different types of frequencies and the polarity that is going on in healing, and you can literally see this, this is documentable. I think if we will supply the electrons we can alternate some of the frequencies. This will be good for the body because now it can accelerate healing. If you accelerate healing, you also drop pain, increase blood flow, gives you more nutrients. Wow, I'm running out of room. But anyway, that is part of the concept of when we talk about a healing current. I don't believe anybody really knows what the current is. I think everybody tries to sell you something, claims they have some, some knowledge that the rest of us don't have. Uh, but that is the process that we've seen over and over with using electrotherapy, be it a TENS unit, be it an infrax, be it an uh, muscle stimulation. It's not the exact same thing. It's a whole different thing. There's another type of uh, thing called antiphoresis and 
Antiphoresis is simply where you use electricity to put medications into the body and don't have to use pain, uh, needles, which hurt some people. But that's part of our whole discussion about healing currents. I have many more videos up that explain this uh, better than I just did, I'm sure. But this is where we're trying to ex educate you on the flow of currents in the body. And we're really not trying to make something happen. We're trying to allow it to happen by actually feeding the body what it needs to heal itself faster. Thanks for watching this video. At MedFax, our priority is to educate and inform on topics such as pain relief, sports performance, injury rehab, nutrition, antioxidants, electron supplementation, and electrotherapy. We carry a complete line of electrotherapy devices and accessories including interferential, TENS, ultrasound, muscle stimulators, electrodes, and more. We are excited about being on the cutting edge of electrotherapy research. 